Now there were some specific laws that were given to the children of Israel regarding what we eat, who we marry, uh, what we're to do observing the Shabbat or the Sabbath. And many of us have been told or taught that none of this stuff matters anymore. Not nowhere in the Most High's word did he say none of this matters anymore. But what you have are men who have established their own righteousness and their own traditions and they've said that it doesn't matter. And what they're doing too is they are passing off their doctrines as the doctrines of the Most High and causing people to err. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 16 For the leaders of this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed. A good example are the things that we are commanded not to eat. We have been taught through the mistranslations of scripture and the false teachings of Christianity that you can bless and eat whatever you want. Now, if I were to say to some of you that we're going to barbecue some elephant meat today and we're going to have a side of fried rats and um, some boiled cat and dog, many of you would look at me as if I'm gross, you see. but. Pig, on the other hand, you have so-called black people having pig roast. Now the scripture said that that's an unclean, defiled animal, but your pastor told you that if you bless it, you can eat it. Why then are people getting brain worms, high blood pressure, and all kinds of diseases from eating food that the Most High told us not to eat? We cannot go ahead and establish our own laws and our own righteousness and misinterpret scripture and disregard clear instructions that the Most High have given us. He even said that in that day, anyone who's found eating mice or swine is gonna be judged. So take that into consideration the next time you try to bless some pork. Why then are your loved ones dying from strokes and high blood pressure and all these other diseases? We are to eat clean and we are to eat right. When the Most High says something, his word goes forth out of his mouth, and it shall not return void. When he said that we are to bless the food that we eat, he was speaking of things that were already determined to be food. He wasn't talking about rats or elephants or pigs or catfish or shrimp. Those things are unclean. They were unclean in the Old Testament, and they're unclean today. For behold, Yahuwah will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will Yahuwah plead with all flesh, and the slain of Yahuwah shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh, and the abomination, and the mouse, shall be consumed together, saith Yahuwah. Yahuwah shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee, until he have consumed thee from off the land, whither thou goest to possess it. Yahuwah shall smite thee with a consumption, and with a fever, and with an inflammation, and with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. It is common in most black neighborhoods to find rats, mice, fleas, flies, and roaches. I've seen people put their trash cans on a table in the backyard just to keep the rats from getting into the garbage cans. Roach infestations is a common thing in black communities. Just like the scripture says, the pestilence shall cleave unto them. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee cursed 
shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Curse shall thou be when thou comest in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. Yahuwah shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand on to for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. I knew there was something going on when I went through certain black neighborhoods and noticed the same problems and the same patterns of dysfunction. From family to family, city to city, state to state, I see some of the same issues. And these issues are now a normal way of life for most of us. The legacy we leave for our offspring are a pile of problems ranging from poverty to sickness. Now some of us as individuals have risen above some of these issues but as a whole these things have gotten worse over the years. The scriptures say curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Well isn't this what we're seeing in our communities today? Each generation, the youth gets worse and worse. There was a time when black children respected their elders. Now they don't even respect their own parents. 16-year-old Jalen Wembley is charged as an adult in jail for murder after police say she stabbed her mother, Katina Wembley, with a knife. It happened here at Sunrise Apartments Tuesday afternoon. Kids could hear him through the door organ about the cell phone. And I just heard the mama scream real loud. What happened next will be hard for Melody Thames to ever forget. The little girl came out and slammed the door. And when she went back, she said, I hate you, you stupid B I T C H. And she ran and took off. Then the mama came out with the knife. It was all the way in her neck to the handle. And she was screaming for help. She was just walking around. She was bleeding everywhere. She was just saying, help me. So we settled down. And she said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. So by then, my sister had called 911, but they was taking too long to get here, so we just loaded up in my car and took her to the ER. Katina Wembley died at the hospital. Authorities say Jalen Wembley took off running from the apartment barefoot. She was caught five and a half hours later, coming out of the woods about a half a mile away. 